Do you know the signs of DVT? Today, you'll learn the five most important signs of DVT. Do you know what DVT is? Deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot clogs a vein in the leg. This prevents blood from flowing through the vein, right? In other words, the blood can't get back to the heart properly. Arteries are more elastic vessels and blood flows through them with more pressure. In addition, arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the extremities of the body and to all our organs. Veins, on the other hand, are the ones that collect blood from the peripheral regions and return it to our heart. Thrombosis prevents the blood from returning to the heart and begins to cause signs and symptoms in the affected area. So stay until the end, because today you'll discover all the signs of thrombosis, including the most deadly ones. DVT, or deep vein thrombosis, is relatively common, right? It affects 50 out of every 100,000 people. DVT is responsible for sequelae such as chronic venous incontinence, can cause chronic leg pain, swelling and ulcers, and can occur at any time in life. Have you ever heard of a person who has a DVT in one leg and then develops PTE, or pulmonary thromboembolism? Well, more than 90% of pulmonary emboli come from clots in the deep veins of the legs. PTE rarely occurs from clots in the atrium of the heart or in the veins of the arms. PTE is pulmonary thromboembolism, which is like a heart attack in the lungs. It's very serious, folks. In some cases, it can be more serious than an acute heart attack. This can happen when a deep vein thrombosis occurs and the thrombus moves and goes to the lungs, specifically the pulmonary artery. Some thromboses are silent and develop into PTE, which is a pulmonary infarction. In other cases, it may be possible to make a clinical diagnosis based on the signs that the patient reports to the doctor. That's why it's important to know the five signs of DVT. If you suspect you have this condition, see your doctor, okay? The sooner you are diagnosed and treated, the lower the risk of complications, and then you can prevent pulmonary thromboembolism. If a patient comes in, is admitted to the hospital, is treated for a DVT, and starts to experience severe shortness of breath, it is very likely that they have developed PTE. So let's look at the five most important signs. First sign, leg swelling. The leg may swell. You can clearly see that one leg is larger than the other. If you put one leg next to the other and compare them, if you take a tape measure, you can see a difference of even more than three centimeters. So there is edema in one of the legs. The second sign, sudden pain. Pain in one of your legs that occurs overnight and only gets worse over the course of a few days can also be a sign of deep vein thrombosis. It hurts even when you touch your leg. Imagine your leg is swollen and painful. In this case, be vigilant and seek medical attention. Third sign, redness. If, in addition to the swelling and pain, which is only getting worse, you notice that your leg is also red, you go to the hospital, and if it's red and not swollen or painful, then it's probably not a thrombosis, but an injury, an infection of the skin or subcutaneous tissue. In any case, keep an eye on it. If the other two signs I mentioned occur, then you should go to the hospital, okay? Enjoying the video? Then, like the video, guys, share it. Let's save the world. Fourth sign, hot legs. You know how you put your hand to your forehead to see if someone has a fever? Same thing here. Put your hand on the leg that's swollen and see if you feel any warmth. This could also be a sign of thrombosis. So remember that swelling, pain, redness, and heat are classic signs of DVT. Before the last sign, I want to inform you that I'm going to leave a link for you to click on in the comments below with our herbs and food program with recipes that explain how to keep your organs healthier so you can prevent future health problems with homemade and natural recipes. There's even a tutorial that teaches you how to grow these herbs at home to improve the health of each of your organs. 
Take a look and then come back and tell our team what you thought, okay? Fifth sign, the leg is stiffer. If one leg is stiffer than the other, check to see if it's also more enlarged than the other. When in doubt, always go to the hospital. As I said, treatment should begin as soon as possible. Precisely because of the risk of it developing into a pulmonary infarction, which is what PTE is, okay? But tell me below, have you ever had a thrombosis? Did you recover well? How long were you in the hospital? Can anyone get thrombosis? Well, anyone can get thrombosis, but of course there are those who are more likely to get it. Do you know smokers, for example? They have a higher risk of getting thrombosis. Patients who are bedridden or have hypertension or poorly controlled hypertension also have a higher risk of thrombosis. So let's talk about the risk factors for DVT. Hereditary factors include protein C deficiency, protein S deficiency, and some other diseases. What about acquired factors? Bedridden people, long surgeries, long trips by plane or bus are also factors for thrombosis. In this situation, the speed of blood circulation decreases, which favors thrombosis. Trauma, infection, and some vein medications can also be risk factors. They can cause damage to the inner wall of the blood vessels, which favors the formation of thrombi inside the vein. I'd also like to mention that the use of contraceptives during pregnancy also increases the risk of thrombosis. That's true. And why is that? The hormones of pregnancy and contraceptives favor a state of hypercoagulation. This is also the case with tumors, blood diseases, and diabetics. It's worth remembering that women over 35 who use contraceptives also have a higher risk of thrombosis, and this risk increases exponentially. For women over 40, the risk doubles every decade. The same goes for women who smoke and use hormone therapy. So pay attention. If you're over 35, if you smoke, if you're on any kind of hormone therapy, make an appointment with your gynecologist to discuss this, okay? Now, if you have any of the five symptoms of deep vein thrombosis, you should always see a doctor. Often, the diagnosis is made through a physical examination and tests such as dimerography or ultrasound of the legs. In some cases, the doctor may have doubts and order more sophisticated tests. In cases where there are no acquired risk factors, such as trauma, comorbidities, hormone use, or smoking, the doctor may also investigate the question of hereditary thrombophilia. What about treatment? Treatment is usually with anticoagulants. If you suddenly feel short of breath, go to the hospital. Don't get sick at home. Shortness of breath can be a sign of several diseases, pneumonia, asthma, now COVID itself, heart attack, heart failure, and even the evolution of deep vein thrombosis into pulmonary thromboembolism. Did you like the video? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our health tips and activate the bell. It's very important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family and click the like button because when it comes to your health, it's worth sharing. So share away. So what's the next video you're going to watch? I'll leave you with my recommendation. Until the next video, thank you and stay healthy.